Hi everyone, I'm Gaming Bob and this video is a Let's Play video on some small. And today we are in Willow Creek and I'm turning Cypress Terrace into a bachelor pad. So the ground was 40 by 30 squares and the price, the original ground price was 8,500 and the price after I re like furbished and built the house was 236,477 uh, yeah 477 simoleons um, which is quite a difference but I do think it's worth it to be honest. I, I'm in love, literally, I'm in love with this house. I would have this as my house. I, I love it. Um, mainly because I spent three hours of my life on this house, so maybe that's why. Um, but yeah, I really liked this house. I was challenged by one of my friends to make a bachelor pad for them and they gave me specific rules one of them being one bed one bath and it needs to be big and it needs to not be a um, needs to be no seating areas in the kitchen and that was it and in instantly as soon as I said that I immediately pictured this house and planned it so, yeah, um, I thought the outcome of it was rather good. There are some things that I couldn't do that I wanted to do, but other than, uh, I managed to find a way to get kind of the same style. So, in the end, it, it, in a way, it, it looks like um, how I wanted the house to be. And... So yeah, as I said, it's got one bedroom, one bathroom, and downstairs is pretty much open plan as you just saw as you just saw in the building of it. So I'm just doing the outside. Am I doing the outside now? Yes, I'm just doing the outside now. I did it all in one colour, and then I mixed it up a bit. There's two different colours. Um, there's two different wallpapers. There's a white that goes around the bottom of the balcony and a strip of white next to the front door. But I'm just starting out the window. I think I even delete the window after that, I'm not sure. The only problem that I found that I ended up fixing was the fact that there was a massive gap above the door because the walls and the ground floor are medium of are of medium height and the door is a small door it's for a small wall so um, there's there was a gap basically so I, I just filled that with the painting I'm not sure which painting but it was quite a long painting I think it was about a landscape um, so yeah, I liked the fact that this house was quite open and it had lots of windows and lots of natural light, which I um, I really like, I, I'm one for that. The bedroom, it, that's all open, even though you can't even see the bed, because I'm going to build a wall, but the only real problem I had was this floor. That you can see me struggling with now um, because you can't once you place the floor down you just have to like redo the floor with another f um, with another pattern or another flooring type whereas in any other sims you'd be able to delete the floor in this one you couldn't which really frustrated me because I wanted to delete the floor to make it open and it Sims 4 would not have any of it because it's two separate, two different rooms it really frustrated me so much um, because all the way through it you'll see that 
like here now where I just it keeps popping up again and I'm like oh I can't have that the way I want it but it works now so um, and hopefully if you download it it'll work then as well so I'm just putting the doors into the bedroom and you just see how that you can it, it's just all open plan well it's not an open plan but it's very open because of the windows <coughs> I'm just putting in the corridor now um, and it really frustrated me having the uh, the dining room door not centre but I couldn't have that the dining room door as a one door so I ended up having it as a main door in the corridor <laughs> <laughs> got a bit of a cold, sorry. So now I'm just doing the office and the corridor. I liked the fact that everything else was hidden. Like the door to the corridor was kind of hidden and, and away. Um, and so all the like, the, the study and kitchen and games room it it was hidden away from the front room where you would like have parties and stuff so then people wouldn't be able to come in to that area and I liked that that you don't have to like go through certain rooms to get to other rooms or well, you have to go through a corridor but that's besides the point <laughs> um, <coughs> so I'm just putting loads of paintings in the house and in this house there is a lot of paintings and like portraits and things like that because I figured you may as well, if you've got such a nice house you may as well show it off with paint like with just paintings and portraits on the walls instead of having a plain wall and as you can see here the floor problem um, I, I get around it, but it frustrated me a lot. And so when you walk in, you instantly get like a stone sort of um, a stone wall. But the rest of the room, the front room, isn't stone. It's just that part, which I thought was quite nice. It was quite formal and yet royal at the same time it was quite a royal sort of thing which I, I really liked now I'm just doing the other um, walls <clears throat> I didn't realise what I was doing I like using this wallpaper but um, these tiles but I normally use it as a darker shade for the bathroom and I think I did that I'm not quite sure anymore but um, I thought it it was really good. Um, I, I liked the use of these. Uh, I like the use of the tiles in <clears throat> in this uh, in this uh, house. I can't talk today for some reason. <laughs> um, yeah, there was a lot of struggles trying to get the house the way I wanted it. But like I said, in the end, it's fine. I managed to get it the way I want it. So. <coughs> and now I'm just doing the kitchen, which is the second most, which is my second most favourite room in the house. This room was quite kind of an experimental room. There are a lot of new objects and techniques, uh, you could say, uh, in Sims 4. For the kitchen like the way you stack the counters and things like that uh, lots of new techniques so i thought to just why not try them out in the first house that i did for sims 4 on youtube there were it was a starter home so i couldn't really do um a big kitchen i don't have it like this I like to have two spaces between 
um, between countertops, between, uh, on either side, like between parallel countertops. I like to have two spaces because one space, it just seems cramped. So I think that's because I have one space between my countertops in my actual house. <laughs> So, oh, it's frozen for a second then. <coughs> and in the the finished kitchen, I have two fridges. I like this little breakfast bar off to the side sort of thing. It's not the fridges, but it's on its own. And it was a new thing for me. It was a new thing to put the oven there. I normally put it in the centre of the room. Um, in the centre of the counters but I liked it like that I liked putting the uh, the cupboards around it as well <coughs> the room was a very red and blue for me like I tried to stack them up the the cupboards to make it look in, more like a a fridge or a locker or something I'm not quite sure but it didn't work so I just ended up taking them out uh, some out so then it would look more like a shelving shelving unit than anything <coughs> and I think I put a plant on there or I tried to put a plant on there I'm not sure and I forget to put a sink in until now <laughs> which is normally not the case. I have to have my sinks exactly in the middle. I don't know what it is. It just feels weird if my sinks are not in the middle. I don't know what it is at all. It's just one of the weirdest things. Um, like I said, I'm just trying out new things. That's why I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> but I didn't really bother with um, doing that on the last house that I built because it was just a start at home, so I was just like, nope, just fridge, oven, sink, great. Now I'm doing the bin, but I thought, it's such a nice house, you don't just want a bin, like, outside. So I, I built a shed, and that's what this is. But I realised one of the flaws was, you, you have to have your upstairs, you have to have one floor the same height, because I wanted the shed, uh, the shed walls to be a small, a small wall, but I wanted the ground floor of the house to be a medium wall, and I couldn't do that. So the shed looks a bit weird, but if I like put the me put it to medium, uh, put it to small, the house, then that would just go wrong, and all the windows would be gone, and it'd just be awful. <laughs> So I was like, ugh, just gonna, I'm just going to have to leave it like that. And then I put in a nice table with nice chairs that were quite professional. Um, so sort of if you were going to have a meeting or sort of a dinner party. But it's still sort of like a bachelor sort of... Um, <laughs> I said sort so many times in that sentence. It's still, uh, in a way, like a bachelor pad because of how much colour is in the seats and things like that. Now I'm just doing the bar area because obviously a bachelor pad's got to have a bar. A, my bachelor pad's got to have a bar. Uh, a bar. It wouldn't be a bachelor pad, but though. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, I'm ill, okay. <laughs> um, I didn't realise what these were in the glass until I put them in the dining room because I was like, oh, it's trophies. And, They'd be good in the dining room, like showing off and stuff. Um, cause it's always good to show off. <laughs> and then I was like, oh no, they're they're alcohols. So you may as well just put them with the bar. And now I'm just doing the TV area, which <coughs> and that is the only area. Well, there's a few TVs around the room, around the rooms, but that's the only area where you can just sit down and watch TV. Because I thought the bachelor pad would be more like, in, like I thought it'd be more inte like intelligent and be more interested in music and 
improving maybe drinking that's why I put such a big bar in there <laughs> we just gotta throw parties so oh my alarm just went off oh um <clears throat> It's not in the how in Sims 3 there's um there's a foosball table and in Sims 2 there's a, a different type of table, I think it was a pool table. But in Sims 4 there is none of that. There's just a little game pad thing that that's that little lily pad shaped thing um that I put in a room. I'm not sure what it's called. It is a game console thing though, isn't it? Um, and, <coughs> and, um, but there was nothing else. And I was really annoyed about that because in a bachelor pad you would have a foosball table or a pool table or something like that. So it, the base game is very basic. It is very basic. There's not a lot of things that you there's only a certain amount of things that you can do really I guess you've just got to have a very good imagination and I'm just sticking lights everywhere and I realized that I've not done the I, I would I'm gonna realize soon that I've not done the wallpaper for the dining room I like everything mishmash colored uh, like cut with colours because I think that's quite a cool thing and <clears throat> I say I'm very monotone today because I'm quite ill <laughs> um, but I like the mismatch of colours because the walls although they're quite plain or, um, the colour brings out the room so I like that I like that about furniture like the mismatch, uh, mismatched bar stools and dining room table, uh, dining room chairs and things. And now you, I bet you're wondering what the walls were for, but they were just for so then I could kindly, kind of sort out the path because I really like that. Uh, I I generally use that path whenever um, I need to put a path in there because I do like that path um, paint but it's, not, it's generally always only on paint and then I try to do a triangle I was going to do two squares one on this side of the path that you, you can see now and one on the other side but to me it just looked a bit too wrong to be honest so I, I had to, I was like nope, nope can't do that <laughs> Eventually, I do put a fountain in there, but for at the minute, like I said before, it was just me trying out some new things. Like, how the heck is does this work? <laughs> so yeah, I put a, a circle the fountain where I wanted the fountain to be, and then I put um, a shape in there which is just basically two squares, one on top of each other. Um, so then it looks kind of more posh, really. It looks more sophisticated. So if you're gonna have a dinner party, it would look very cool. And it would impress a lot of the ladies. I mean, I would be impressed if someone had a fountain in their front garden. <laughs> <coughs> And then I use bushes and flowers around the fountain, around the circle, to make it more secluded and just more private. But it's still I don't go onto the um, onto the path because then it's still open as well. So it's private but open. It, it, it works really. Um, <coughs> it's inviting and it looks posh and professional sort of thing. Well, I'm not sure what profession that would be. 
but you know, it looks very posh and real. And I put two soldier, uh, two knights um, in the hall because that would be fucking awesome. Like if there was a burglar or something, and like they were just walking past, and there was a knight there, they'd be like, nope, 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 nope. So I don't think you can be burgled on this game. You can be a burglar, but you can't be burgled. I don't think. But I thought they'd be the. They look very cool anyway, especially with a stone wall. They look very cool. So I put one on either side of the corridor, the hallway. And now I'm just doing the walking wardrobe. It's more like, what you call it? It's a walking wardrobe, isn't it? But it's not really a wardrobe, it's more of a closet. Changing room. I'm not sure. <laughs> And it was quite because I wanted to get more of a workspace area so then I could put more cologne and things like that on. But in the end, I just left it like that so then there's still room to change. <coughs> and then obviously, you can't just have a bed in the middle of a room because you'd constantly be worried about people sticking up on you. I would be anyway. So I put a wall there. And then I put some cool stuff in the corner, like a, an old camera, some books and things like that. Um, I thought this was very Twilight, to be honest. It just when I was putting it in there, it just reminded me of Twilight to have like old things and books and a glo- and an old globe and stuff like that. And I don't even like Twilight. So, <laughs> but I was like, this is very Twilight. Um, the bathroom, I, I'm in love with the bathroom. I use it as much as I can. Um, like you can see here, I've just put random two walls there. And that's one just for the ba- uh, toilet, as you can see now. So when you walk in, and some, if someone's on the toilet, then you just, you're not like, oh, sorry mate, you can't really see them. It's the same with the shower as well, because it's glass and you don't want someone like, walking in on you having a shower and I put it for the bath as well because I thought it'd be nicer having it out in the middle of the room but it just looked a bit weird without the wall there and plus there's more storage space now for towels and things like that I do like that about Sims 4 the towel racks and the accessories and um, for the bathroom I do like that now I'm putting more artwork up for the <laughs> that was a bit too big for the um, upstairs <coughs> because like I said before if you've got a nice house like this you you're gonna want to kind of show off like that like work it a bit more with the artwork and obviously I've got to because they're so rich and just so posh they've got two statues there and a butler, a, f- a fake butler, that I'm going to be putting um, a kettle on in a minute. So then in the morning, they've got the kettle there and the tea, and they can just have a brew whilst watching the sun. And Well, not watching the sun, but whilst like bathing in the sun and what, reading the newspaper and stuff. I, I, that would be cool. I thought that would be quite good. And I put in a foot, what would you call that? Um, I've forgotten what it's called, oh no. Um, a foot stump, maybe? Where, where you put your feet, I'm not sure what it's called. Um, and then I just put a plant, and now I'm just doing the fence. The fence was quite hard actually. Um, the mailbox kind of threw me off a bit because it was just like, oh no, where is this supposed to go? What are, what are the rules on this? But yeah, there we have it. Okay, so now we're just on the slideshow and as you can see, this is what it looks like from the garden and this is the corridor. We're just going through the corridor with the doors now. We're just going through each individual room because that way we don't have to backtrack or anything. It's just simply in a circle, really. I just love this kitchen. (laughs) 
this is the dining room as you can see coat of arms there is it would you call it is it a coat of arms i think so and then the games room and this is what it looks like when you come out of the corridor and then just going through obviously there's the ceiling um we're just in the bathroom now this is what it looks like when you go in and as you can see everything is completely like private and i just love the attention to detail of everything this is the bedroom i love this bedroom like i imagined this guy who lives here loves like music and adventures and books and things like that so that that's the character that i built it around like he cares about what he wears and things like that and there's two statues there as you can see in the butler with the kettle and the chair and that's it thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up also, comment down below if you want me to do a challenge video or if you want me to build a certain building or if you want me to make your dream house. And also subscribe for updates on when I upload a new video. And also, the house that I just built well, it is available on the gallery for download. So the link to the tutorial on how to download it will be in the description if you don't know how to do that because to be honest I didn't know how to do that for a while. I didn't know how to download houses. Um, so yeah, that's all for now. Later, bye!